it is two days after Halloween. Um, sorry I haven't got my Halloween vlog up yet. I wanted to do kind of an intro, out, outro thing. Um, again, it is two days later. Um, Halloween night. And last night we had a freeze warning, so it is extremely cold in Georgia where I'm at right now. Um, so I am cuddled up with my blanket. Um, I finally had to turn the heat on. Um, I try not to do that until like toward December, but I mean it is just so cold. Um, so <clears throat> yeah. Um, and I ended up giving in with it being so cold. I just wanted to, like, cuddle up with my cozy blanket. And, um, pretty much I'm giving in and watching Christmas movies early. I usually don't start doing that until December. But, like I said, it's freezing cold and I'm just... I'm not feeling too great as well, so, um, my nose is kind of stuffy, and, um, anyway, so, not feeling too great, anyways, and it being freezing cold, so I finally was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna sit on the couch, cuddled up in my blanket, and, um, watch Christmas movies. So, again, like I said, it's two days later. Um, yeah. So, I want to know y'all's guys' plans for Thanksgiving. Um, <clears throat> what's everybody got planned? Um, I'm not sure what I'll be doing. Last year, I know I vlogged a good bit of it of Thanksgiving and my Black Friday. Um, I'm not sure what I'll be doing this year, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to vlog it or not. Um, I don't know if we'll be going Black Friday shopping. Um, yeah, at this point I really have no clue what we'll be doing, so I don't know if I'll vlog it or not. Um, I would like to, but like I said, I don't know. Um, as for this vlog, though, um, like I said, it's two days after Halloween. It is Saturday. This is probably going to go up tonight or in the morning one. So, yeah. And then I have, after this vlog goes up, I have a couple of that are videos that are still, like, fall-themed that I need to get working on and get those up for you guys as well. Um, like I said, I'm just cuddled up with my blanket and the heat's on like I said it is freezing I woke up this morning and I was like I have to turn the heat on it's just too cold um so I turned the heat on two or three hours ago it's finally warming up a good bit in here um I didn't turn the heat up on high just yet because I mean it's not that cold but I mean, it is really cold. It's about 40 degrees here right now. So, I did turn the heat on. I turned it on low. Just so it would kind of warm up a little bit. Um, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, with this vlog, you're going to see footage of me. Um, or I recorded my friend. Like, I went to a friend's house. Um... <clears throat> and, um, I recorded her doing her fiancé's makeup. He had to work that night. Um, and so, anyways, he had to work that night, so he was dressing up, of course. And, um, so I recorded her doing his makeup. He went as a, 
a sugar skull, I think is what it's called. Um, yeah, he's um, Hispanic, so um, that's kind of his culture, so before anybody's like, oh, you know, going crazy, like, no, it's his culture, so. But anyway, um, <clears throat> And that was even mentioned, like, in the video and stuff, but, yeah, um, so, yeah, I just, um, filmed her doing his makeup, and then I have a couple small clips to throw in here of just random stuff, I guess. <laughs> um, I have a small, very, very small clip of, um... That actually was before Halloween night. It was like a few nights before maybe or something like that. I don't know. Um, so I'll probably throw that in or I might throw it in at the very beginning. I'm not quite sure. I, I don't know. Um, either way, you've either already seen it or you will see it in just a second. Um, so yeah, I just recorded her doing his makeup for work. And then just random conversation that we had. <laughs> Um, and then other than that, we just kind of spent the night kind of chilling, I guess. Um, we really didn't do a whole lot. We kind of just, uh, they played like a horror game of some sort. I'm not really into gaming. Um, they played that and then, um, we just watched movies, which they were, they were interesting movies. Um, we watched one movie that was called The Tall Man. Um, and it's got Jessica Biel in it. It was interesting. And then we watched Her Hereditary or something like that. That one was a little strange. Um, hey guys, so, uh, camera cut off. I've gotta make this quick. Um, so, yeah, like I said, Halloween night, I just went to a friend's house, we watched movies, made cookies, that's pretty much about it, um, so I'm gonna pretty much wrap this up here, um, yeah, if you like this video, hit the like button, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you'll get notified whenever I post a video, um, so, yeah, if you're interested in seeing a little bit of my Halloween and whatnot, um, then go ahead and stay tuned. Um, so that's pretty much it for now. Bye, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. A prime reason for Trash Island floating around the middle of the ocean. Right? I mean, New York ain't better because they dump their shit and barges out there. Yeah, they're not helping, but they're not the main cause either. Nope. And the funny thing is, you got these people who are like, we gotta save the earth. It was like, yeah, you try and save it. It's, it's not gonna work because there's billions of people trashing the whole world and there's only like a handful of you that are trying to correct it. It's not gonna work. Yeah, you need billions to try to save it compared to the billions that are not caring. Right. Granted, I hate saying that because we live on this damn planet. <laughs>
real fast. Oh yeah. He leaves this house looking like this. He's done.
gets crazy. Getting back down here is going to be the fun part. When is the ice supposed to hit? Point it like over there. <laughs> he didn't take the pumpkin outside. Oh, what? Okay, so I'm gonna just take it out and put it on the front porch until it needs. Hmm. Now I can point it over at Bay. <laughs> Tell them what you're making, or it's up to you. Or do you want to tell them? Yeah, I'm not a cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you need me to put a shirt on. Well, she likes to film stuff, so I put a shirt on. Okay. <laughs> hey, I think it's a good thing that I like to. Uh, vlog for YouTube because I caught her uh, being proposed to.
Yeah, that was funny. Did you catch the part where they fell? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I caught the whole thing. So yeah, that video is on my YouTube channel if you want to like go watch it. Okay. I've been using YouTube in so long. Ever since they changed a lot of their policies, I'm like, nope, deuces, I'm out. <laughs> YouTube used to be fun. I used to be able to make music videos and not have to worry about copyright. Yeah, the copyright yeah. stuff from music. As long, music. You, as, long as you Well, originally they had it as as long as you mentioned the artist, you could still do it. But they have a then they started. Now. Then they started removing my videos, even though I mentioned them in my. My entire account got deleted back when it was my true self. It was all music videos. It got deleted. Um, they have it now to where it's a parody law that you can have it now. You have to put it under parody though, or something like that. Mm -hmm. I guess to go under a certain category. Right. And it's covered because they um, had. You know, people were getting sued for just making music videos and not making money off them. Just yeah, they were just music videos. Music videos. And YouTube was like, this isn't right, because it wasn't right. YouTube that was doing it. It was the people that owned the music. Yeah. That was going through YouTube to sue. YouTube was the medium. Mm -hmm. They were going through it to do it. Which was stupid. Mm -hmm. And YouTube even agreed because to that. a lot of people who used the music bought that music and used it in their thing. So mm -hmm. it's not. It's not copyright infringement. Nope. But it's parody creation is what it's filed under now. I can remember that next time. But I haven't used YouTube in years just because of that. Yeah, I got, ri got rid of it for a while, but when they finally went through and fixed a whole bunch of shit, I've gone back on it. We actually went over and studied it when I was in college because it was under me. I took a law class. Mm -hmm. Because I was considering if I wanted to do media law or just continue with what I was doing. Continue with what I was doing. But media law would definitely be something I'm interested in. Right. Because you could fuck some people over with that. But it always fell under parody. Every time I would like look it up, I even did a paper on it. It's like, why isn't this this way? And not even a year later, YouTube came out with it. That's why if you go on there and type in AMV again, there's thousands again. Oh, I noticed. I'm so happy some of the AMVs came back because there were some really good people making AMVs. And when YouTube started doing the crap that they were doing, it was upsetting. It really was. A lot of people who were just trying to show off their creative creativity on their AMVs were suddenly thrown in the dirt. Yep. I lost my whole account and I lost 78 videos. Dang. Yep. Even worse is that computer had died. That was all of them were on it. Oof. Then they deleted my account. Oh. And there's no way of getting it back. Because it was deleted in 2000 and... I think 2012 was when it started. Oh yeah, that's... Yeah, that's been a long time. They started doing that whole stuff back when I was still in high school, so it's been a while. And I graduated I got, in 2008. Yeah, I actually got attacked 2012 though. I kept um, watching it, like I was waiting on it. Because 2006 Oh, we were all watching it, and we're like, oh, this is not gonna, gonna happen. Well. <laughs> I mean, Adpocalypse had to have been the worst though. Oh, right. That was 2014, I think. I was like, oh my god. I, I said fuck it, and I started paying for YouTube just because I can't stand the stupid ads. Like, it annoys me. I hate the ads. The ads are so stupid. And they're starting to do it on every uh, streaming channel, including, like, Twitch. Mm -hmm. I was like, I go to Twitch to watch streamers. I don't go to Twitch to watch your crappy ads. Yeah. So I went ahead and I paid for YouTube just for like the music especially because I don't like listening to a song, add, song, add, add, song, add. It was like one, two. It's one, the same thing two. with Pandora. I hate that. Like this shit's annoying. And the thing is they know that they're pissing people off with these ads but they still keep doing it. They don't have toys. Yeah, because that's how they're paying for shit. That's why they can't. YouTube doesn't charge you more than like 10 bucks when in reality you can watch thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of ads. Now, if they didn't have those ads, their service would probably be like 30 or 40 fucking dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I pay 12 bucks. And to me, if I find it worth it because I use YouTube so much. I also listen to the music in my car and can turn the phone off and still have the music playing. Mm -hmm. So, I find it worth it. Some people don't. Some people do. I will not subscribe to people and pay for it. <laughs> like, I love Mark. I love Jack. 
not paying me, right? <laughs> He's like, come on, enough people watch ads, you get ad rev. I'm not paying for it. I got annoyed with the ads being on my boyfriend's Twitch. <laughs> so I subscribed to him just to get rid of it. I'm like, that I want to just watch his streams without having to worry <laughs> about that every, like, five minutes. Yeah, my friend Justin plays on Twitch, and I'll get annoyed. He'll be in the middle of talking, all of a sudden ad, and I'll send him a text and be like, what the fuck did you say? I don't know what you just said. Because <laughs> he'll be answering me or something, because he likes it when I go in the chat and I start talking, because it makes mm -hmm. other people talk. And I'll just send him a, and the fuck you say? <laughs> I don't well, know what you said. It's not every Twitch person has those ads on it. It's the ones that are actually a part of the Twitch, I guess, team. Program. Yeah. Yeah, he's part of the program. And I told him, like, I hate you. Because as soon as you get recognized by Twitch, quote unquote, and you start getting the, the cheers just or whatever. Just got recognized by Razor. Hmm. What's funny is her name was always Razor Gamer, and now she's actually recognized by Razor. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, there, you can put the snake on your thing now, and it's not copyright. I used to follow quite a lot of people. And then I just kind of slowly drifted out of not watching streams. I get those moods where I just don't feel like watching streams. It happens, I've done it before. So I used to watch Markiplier a lot. And I used to watch uh, some other streamers like Spoonie and Snowlit. I've got to watch Markiplier later. He came out with his thing today. What? Markiplier's been advertising a fucking project of his and it came out today. I have no idea yeah. who we're talking about. <laughs> These are all streamers on Twitch. Huh. There's some pretty they're, Markiplier's they're a YouTuber, considered though. pretty oh, okay. uh, pretty big people. Is he a gaming YouTuber or yeah. oh, okay. But he also um he's been getting more into cinema stuff. Like he uh. makes his own movies and shorts and shit. Dude, some of his stuff is hilarious. He just came out with one called Heist. Like literally it's he's been advertising it on his uh videos. It'll be in the middle of one of his scary videos and if the game goes down or goes to a black screen or something, his editor has been fitting in a commercial for Heist in the middle of the gaming video. <laughs> and then it continues. It's not paid. They wanted to avoid a paid advertisement because they didn't want people having to deal with it. Right. So he's just been kind of like, sneaking it in here and then it's gone. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Like, I thought Darkiplier was going to come out of fucking nowhere anti-randomly because it'll go all digital. Yeah, no, it's really just an ad for Heist. We were Advertised. <laughs> I like that term. Advertised. I wanted him. Well, for all we know, he might be in heist. A lot of people are in Schmoyoho's in there and like eight other fucking YouTubers just from the picture I've seen. Because he released a couple of uh, behind the scenes yesterday. And I'm like, what the fuck? You're on the top row, right? Okay, that's fine. I'm making crackers. I see that. <laughs> I just gotta bake them in the dough. Yeah, I didn't know how much, like, popcorn to bring either, so I brought, like, five bags, I think. Yeah, I brought, like, five bags of popcorn, two packs of cookie dough. <laughs> I haven't baked baked since high school. Well, because I didn't know if it was going to be just me and Bay or like who else was going to be here, so I was like, just in case, you know. Well, the original plan was to go up to AWA, but weather sucks. And the only reason I wanted to really go was one thing. Yeah. I love it when people are like, oh, Georgia weather's bipolar. I was like, uh, I think Texas weather's even more bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> I lived in Texas for a year, six months, and four days. Hmm. <laughs> so it's kind of like, eh, <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure that Texas weather is more bipolar than Georgia weather because they go from hot to cold to windy to stormy, and then suddenly it drops down to cold and we have snow again, and it's like, Georgia's how? <laughs> what? Georgia's trying. It's trying. It's trying. It's like a close second. There's a reason we're so bipolar now is it keeps changing. Mm -hmm. Back when we were kids, it was literally just hot or cold. Yeah. Now, one day, it's all season. Back when we were kids, we actually had fall weather, and it's like... <laughs> shh. Oh, what is that? What is fall? Now it goes from, like, summer to winter. <laughs> oh, and it goes back to fall and spring. 
Like if we're if we're if I we're think the lucky, why the weather is changing so much is because the cycle of Earth is closer to the sun than it has than it has been in we also years. Had that change and in that magnetic poles yeah, and that earthquake hit. That earthquake that did a crust displa- displacement thing, where we shifted like what point point five degrees on our axis. Yep. 